pressure comp. We think we win all three lanes and it's answered with a Ziggs. The first one we've seen and this is what I like to see. The LJ Does look like he's sticking around. Now, Evie does still have the flash. You can see Oddie coming in with the Predator. We wondered which jungler would have the impact first. There's a huge minion wave. Oh, from Oddie. The chase is there. Evie goes down. And Oddie... I'm going to check to make sure because otherwise I will be hard flamed by Twitch chat. But there's a gank happening right now up towards the top lane. Steel coming in with the Predator. Has the impale. Boogax this has to work. The Canabrage. Evie almost up towards the Mega Nar. Knocks Boogax into the wall. But a great flash away. Boogax impaled. The kill will come down. Yeah. I thought after they burnt so much killing Boogax that they would struggle, but it's gang in the bottom. Trouble. Yeah, Slow has the flank position here. Evie's going to try and jump away. Has the nuts trying to knock him into the wall. The dredge line does connect. Boogax still on the chase, looking for the barrels. Can't quite land them. Wench is going to fall oh! the nar into the wall. Slow has to flash away. And now Boogax is tanking the tower. And Evie shoots. He's got him. He was undefeated on the nar in the LJL. You can't do that to this man. He will outplay you. Oddie flashes in. Evie tries to jump away, but Oddie will take the kill in the end. Even okay. up this trade, but what a play from Evie. Oh, just impeccable stuff from Evie. The plates will fall in the top lane, as you say. Bot lane, Cloud Drake coming out, and Evie doesn't have his teleport in time to get to this tower. First tower of the game goes over to Isuus. They have a 2,000 gold lead. And instead look to trade. He's equal levels. He would be close on gold. And now potentially looking for a play. Flashes straight in. Slow has nowhere to go. Saros gets hit yeah. on the dragon. So I think like they're giving. Focus me, get this. Yeah, they're taking some time to get some bot lane tower damage. Isuus gaming trading that for the, the bottom ocean. of this dragon. He's trying to affect this collapse coming out. However, he might not be able to. Slow with the depth charge into the dredge line. Here comes the full fight. Nah, back into the wall, but Oddie is on a killing spree already. Gang having to jump away. Say onto the back line. Look at the damage onto Evie. He's on the front, but Oddie with the stopwatch just in time will survive. Evie goes down. Unipon has to flash away. And Isuus gaming five members strong are going to push in for the spot lane tower. And a great trap laid there for Isuus gaming. They will be able to push. River. Gave them that mismatch number team fights. The channel of teleport is so long that you can generate that pick with something like a Skana. It was well navigated from Saya. However, now without the way, but neutral has to use the ult. Still two minions there though, and they should be able to take this one down pretty easily. Still going in. Oddie with a straight away with a QS. They're looking for a pick, and Evie might have just fallen into it. He's got the Meganar though, and the rest of his team is on the way. Death Charge gonna land there. Meganar comes out, still flashes straight forward onto Saya. There's the Nar into oh. the wall, and who got baited with the fight? Still low, one down on either side already. But the flash forward from Angelus Gang goes gold and goes down straight away afterwards. Where Angelus takes the kill. Zero four, Infinity Edge. Essence oh. Ruger stolen away by Oddie, and now Zaya opens up. Steel tries to get onto him, but they can't get onto the back line, and now Steel is caught up as well. The knockback from the Force of Will, the damage coming out, one for one so far. Isra's Take down the enemy jungler though. We'll also have a gangplank ultimate here. Oddie getting chased away. Evie with the frozen mallet black cleaver build Ooh. here. Very strong in the 1v1. Bugax stunned up. We'll eat the orange just pumps the cannon barrage. Evie decides he doesn't want to train anymore and Bugax is turning this one around. Evie flashes away. Bugax gets the kill in the one. Two teams met. It took 39 minutes for the game to end. Here we saw some good too much stronger. Dead of M should just be able to take this tower pretty easily. Isuus Gaming. The Angelus has the Feather Storm, has the QSS, has Flash. Steel goes forward. There's the Feather Storm, but here comes Gang looking for the fight onto Angelus. Catches him out, but on the back line, Isuus in there. Look at the damage coming onto Angelus. He's still alive. He's dead. Oh, he's shut down. And Isuus Gaming maybe may overstepped in the top lane. Evie jumping forward. Two for one trade already. Evie somehow survived. Focus me. Found the pick that they wanted. They'll take the Baron. And with it, they will even out that gold score. 2,000 gold. All of a sudden, much more concerned about it. They're going the safe way through their jungle. They're making sure they're not getting picked. As you mentioned, a minute until maybe the next major team fight, as that's going to be the Elder Dragon coming up. But if I'm Detonation, focus me at the moment. I'm just concentrating on pushing down mid lane. You have numbers on side lane. Diving onto the Ziggs, diving onto the Ezreal, and you can just look to pluck them then. You don't have to overextend yeah, with this. Have to push in mid. Evie and Bugax are fighting up towards the top side. But now Evie's going to back away and has the teleport to join the fray if he wants. Slow on the back line of this fight. Steel going in. Gang knocks him up and Slow flashes away. Manages to survive the unleashed power onto Steel. Pulled back while Angelus and Saya take down the enemy jungler. But Evie is here in the fight now. Bugax is going to join in. Slow and Oddie forced away. Saya going back to base. The inhibitor will fall in the mid lane and DFM will get the hell out of there. And even with the kill, they still just... The thing about that is you then lose control ward spots as well. Mm -hmm. It makes it harder for you to control. So it's getting some damage in from the side. Here we go. DFM going in on it. No, the steal from Steel. He lives up to his name and now DFM are looking for the fight. Gang on the front line, Steel on the back. 
Here's the flank, Oddy. Manages to almost up towards Ooh. the Mega Nar. Damage onto Oddy, as you say. Ooh. And the damage is much stickier from Dead FM because they have the double ocean dregs. So you can see Isaris, once they get chunked out, have to walk back. However, fight. Yeah, they can go for They're just going for the base. Do you go for Elder? Do you do this? Is Detonation Focus me? Udipon's being left behind. They're going for the base. Isaris Gaming on the inhibitor tower. Udipon is going to take the Elder Dragon, but Detonation Focus me have to react. Can they stop the bases? Stop. Slow's trying to stop him. Slow, not able to get him out in time. He keeps Sewas around. So Gang is there. Sewas low. Caught out by Oddy and Slow. But oh. Sewas manages to get away. The cannon barrage. Not quite enough damage. But Slow goes down. Slow goes down. Two inhibitors have fallen in the base. Bugat's going to steal away the blue buff. Two inhibitors did fall. Isaris Gaming were able to get what they wanted out of it. And the Elder Dragon did not go down. And you can see the chase is going to continue because Seiya is just going to have to walk away. The Air Dragon that no one really speaks about. <laughs> you can see that Evie also oh, in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. He has the GA. He flashes away. Unipon going forward. Seiya trying to get away off towards the top side of this, but Evie's going to jump the wall. Seiya still has the flash, but doesn't really have anywhere to go. The Elder Dragon goes down. That's the second of the game now for Isarus. And although they've Sorry lost Zeke. Wards in the pit, they're going in, still trying to get there, but what Angelus secures it, and Isaris Gaming don't want the fight, still trying to get in, what Angelus opens up onto Steel, Gang jumping onto the back line, they get oh, the down, they got him. Is down, but look at the damage coming back in response, Sayer getting in from, from the side, Evie jumps in with an R, DFM holding onto the game, holding onto their lives, and DFM have done it somehow, the Unleashed Power comes out, but is that going to be enough, Sayer and Oddy forced back to 4,000 gold ahead, but really gold doesn't matter, worth a damn right now, Isaris looking for that legs, no, they'll be knocked out if they lose this game. Isaris Gaming looking for the seed. Here goes Steel. Tries to get on. He got him! The Impale! They get him, Spawn! They give up the ghost of the fight. Detonation Focus Me will fight to their last to stay in Worlds. And what a game! That's where they could win. Definitely is. I just want to bring attention to the fact that Oddy has got Shirelias here to try and keep his team safe if they get engaged on. And what Angelus is the target right now. Emmy knocked back, knocked down. GA has been popped. Can the rest of DFM save him before he falls? The feathers coming out, pulled back. What Angelus takes the kill and now DFM. And unfortunately, with so much of the base destroyed, oh, Unipon goes in. Gang goes in straight onto Bugax. Bugax suppressed, pulled back. Gang. Acting as the bouncer, and that's one for one. Unipon jumping away. Here comes the Mega Inferno Bomb, but Oddy will pop the stopwatch. DFM resetting, looking for the fight. Going in. Evie with the nah. It's only slow. Knock back. Evie falling low. Steel there, low as well. Evie goes down. War Angelus from the side. Position to go in here. The Blasco not there anymore. Steel doesn't have the flash. And I think they might just give this one up. Here comes the Mega Inferno Bomb. It's too early. Oddy secures it. Oddy gets out. Oh, and it's towards the bottom side. Elder Dragon, maybe the target. DFM pushing mid. Evie goes Mega. Oh! He goes in! What well, Angelus pops the feather storm, but straight away, what well, Angelus is caught! Can they get the damage down? DFM find their mark, they find their man, they've taken one, and now Bugax pulled back, pops the oranges, it's K for the moment. Evie pushing in onto Seiya, DFM maybe too deep, Evie almost into the GA. Mega Inferno Bomb! That's a hell of a lot of damage straight onto the base of Seiya, and now DFM are gonna push through mid. And this should at least be an inhibitor, but with a minute on Warangelus, the late game carry of Isaris, they just might look for the end. It could be it. Isaris do still have the Baron buff. They'll be waiting for their minions to spawn. They can buff it up. They've cleared out Oddy. Looking for the smite steal. We've seen it happen once already. Look at the damage already on Evie. He needs to get out of there. Goes into the Mega. Steal off towards the top side's very low as well. And Bugat's gonna take him down. Say is in the pit. He is in the pit. But what can DFM do with this? Gang knocked back. Force of will will keep him in his place. Slow down towards the bottom side. Oddy and Bugax up towards the top. Evie jumping forward. Doesn't land the Nar. Only gets it onto Oddy, but there's no follow-up damage. Where's it coming from? Bugax takes down Evie. Gang just about surviving on the back line. Bugax off towards the side. 5,000 HP left on the Elder. There's We're another. Angelus. Here he comes. War Angelus, the angel for Isaris Gaming. They clean off DFM. And after 63 minutes, they will take this game. And what a game from both people. But in the end, it is Dead, uh, Isaris Gaming that will move on to the Nexus turret. Isaris Gaming, they knocked and they knocked and they knocked. Detonation Focus Me were not to be stopped, but in the end, Isaris will take the win and go 2-1 in their group.